lot of people have got expectations that after I go through this module, I should be able to manage my emotions, right? I should be calm. I should be okay whenever I get angry, upset, frustrated. So my take on this is, this is the cognitive part of handling emotion, uh, emotional management. And I do believe strongly you have to complement this with some other things that you're doing outside. So for example, if you're doing meditation, great. If you're doing mindfulness, great. If you're doing, uh, say, breathing, right? All those things are extremely important. Because people who lose it fast, I think if they do some of these exercises, I don't think it's going to majorly change things. But I think the exercises that we'll follow in this particular module is going to help people think through some of the patterns that run them. And when you know those patterns that run them, at least they can pinpoint what it is. And that, to me, awareness is already very powerful. Because then you know your triggers that bring about responses. And it may help you to hold on and pull back. But you may not have the internal resources to pull back. And those internal resources come from the inner work that you do. So if you don't do any inner work and you just do heady work, then all you do is you're able to just be aware but not control and manage. So this is extremely important to understand that EQ, yes, there's a lot of principles, there's a lot of facts, there's a lot of different kinds of practices, but the real work has to be a lot of inner work together with the EQ knowledge.